a lot of it has come down to what we believe in determines what God does. That that's what their view is. You know, I was looking at a, a verse yesterday in in Romans. I think it was Romans three, um, and you know, it, it's it's a classic sort of evangelical mantra. You know, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and it's like, yeah, we're all sinners. You know, and and it's like, yeah, but look around it, look at the. It's the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all those who believe there is no distinction because it was talking about Jews and Gentiles. But they quote then, ah, yeah, but it's only for those who believe. But it doesn't say that. It doesn't say when you believe. It says. If you believe or all that believe, because the belief is coming to the knowledge of what's already happened. Not when you believe god will make you righteous because obviously after that verse we're justified as a gift by his grace through the redemption which is in christ jesus so the redemption is already in christ jesus we've already been redeemed in christ jesus as soon as we believe that we enter into it we experience it because it's already happened so the belief doesn't make it happen. And that's that's the twist on the evangelical gospel. Your belief makes something happen rather than when you believe what's already happened, you will experience it. So in that passage, you know, and I was listening to someone talk about it and it was like, you know, they focused on, OK, all. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Yeah. But then being justified as a gift that's the same all it doesn't it doesn't say oh all have sinned and fall short of the glory of god and then some are justified as a gift it's the same all who have sinned and fall short of the glory are justified as a gift yeah it's already done you know and you look at look at that those things and there's always been a twist to ah yes but it's only for those who believe no, it's only those who believe actually experience it. But the reality is true for everyone because it's the all. You know, and as soon as you've got an all in there and there are so many alls when you look at in the particularly when Paul was talking about lots of alls, you know, all died in Adam, all were made alive in Christ. You know, he it's it just the all is the all on both parts of the equation. And the same thing here. Yes, all have sinned, all have lost their way or lost their identity and have fallen short of who God made them to be effectively, not miss this mark where you have to attain a standard, but you've lost your identity and therefore you're not actually expressing the glory that God made you in. All is included there and then all is suddenly not there when those are being justified by a gift through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus because but there's there's no verses in that letter there's no separation from that it's the same all and actually that righteousness will become available to all of them by acknowledging the fact that it's all you know and that that's the difference between the good news and the bad news you know because it's certainly not good news to say well, you've got to do this or you're not acceptable or you've got to do this or you're not included. And you will become included if you do this, you know, and people are just programmed because I, I, you know, if I was to talk at someone who's an evangelical about that verse. And I were to say. But it is the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all. Those who believe they would say when they believe that's the problem so the same all for those who believe is the same all who have fallen short or lost their identity and it's the same all who are therefore made righteous by a gift you know there's no difference there there's no distinction obviously between jew and gentile so it's nothing to do with the law which is what the passage was talking about and then it's all 
Everyone's included in this. This is really good news. Most people don't believe it yet. And that is why they're not experiencing it. Not because they need to believe it. So it happens for them, in a sense, because we've made it when you believe. Not believing, you know, that and that's that's part of the problem. You know, so when you believe God will forgive you, God will make you born again. God will come and dwell within you when you believe rather than no, it's already happened. And when you believe it, you enter into the experience of it. You know, totally different gospel. You know, and it's not, you know, when Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, it's the power of God unto salvation. Absolutely. That good news is the power of God because God has already saved everybody because it's already been made righteous in Christ. You know, but everything comes, gets twisted, you know, and I did the same thing for years in evangelical things. It was when, when you believe or when you repent or when you confess, then God will. Rather than, no, when you believe what he's already done, it will become your experience. Now, that is good news because it takes all the pressure off what we have to do. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.